Hi guys, Marty here. Welcome back to Snappy Videos. Today I've got a bit of an exciting video for you guys. I was thinking to myself, what can I do that will be an exciting video for you guys and a lot of fun? So what I've decided is, I'm actually going to go and drive around Perth, and we're going to take on as many vending machines as we can find. But we're not just going to take on vending machines. I've got some other ideas of some cool things we can do on the way, some things that are going to be fun. So make sure you guys stick around, because we're going to have a lot of fun with this video. We're going to do a lot of battles, and it's just going to be a great video. All right then, let's go and do it. Alright guys, so we're just driving at the moment. First off, I want to go and get some supplies from the supermarket, just something to drink and some snacks for the trip. And then we're going to go and we're going to smash out some vending machine battles, which is going to be really good. So, yeah, let's go and let's get some food. Alright guys, so we've got ourselves some snacks and some drinks. So the adventure starts now, so let's go out and let's fight some Digimon. Alright, so we're on our way to fight our first vending machine. So. What I wanted to do is I didn't really want to fight every single vending machine there was because there's going to be a lot of them in random little places. But my idea for today is just we'll go and find some different shopping centers to actually go and take on the vending machines there. Because otherwise we'll be fighting in random little places, stopping, starting all the time. And I really want to get some K's on the cards with this today. And I really want to go and take on a variety of different areas and really go around Perth and battle these vending machines. So today we're taking on shopping center vending machines, which is going to be a lot of fun. And also don't forget guys, we do have a couple other things that we need to do while we're out. So we're gonna do those as well, but first off, I think we're gonna go find a vending machine at one of the nearest shopping centers and we're gonna take that on. All right guys, we're just coming into the first shopping center on our list now. It's called Coburn, uh, Coburn Gateway. It's in Coburn, uh, obviously near Perth. Um, it's actually spelled a bit differently. I'll put the name on the screen. I'm not going to say the word on my channel because I don't think that will go very well uh, with the algorithm, but uh, you get what I mean when you see the name on the screen. So we'll pull in here. I know there's some vending machines. We'll go park underground because they're right near there. And then there's a couple of things we'll do while we're here. So let's go and let's fight our first vending machine. Oh, I hate speed bumps, hey? They shouldn't make your car bump when you're going slow. You should only make it bump when you're going fast. I almost think you went fast enough over and you probably wouldn't even feel it. But I don't want to damage my car to find out. Of course I go down the one with baby parking. I'm like, oh there's free parks here. No, no, it's for people with babies. Beep, beep, beep. Alright, we're here. The camera quality is terrible because it's really dark right at the moment. Let's go find our vending machine. Alright, so our first vending machine's here, so let's do it.
All right, guys, so I've come outside somewhere where I can actually take my mask off because it's just ridiculously annoying trying to talk with the mask on. Uh, so we've battled our first vending machine. We've won our first battle, which was amazing. Uh, and I do apologize about the noise, guys. I am technically in a car park, but it's the only place I could find nearby where I could take my mask off. Um, so we've also cleared a mission when we uh, won that battle, which is really cool. So we got a trophy out of that. Uh, I've got a couple other things I want to do at this shopping center. Um, but yeah, we won our first battle against the vending machine, so that's really good. Uh, let's go, let's do some more things, and then let's go to our next shopping center and take on another vending machine. get that thing off there, so annoying. All right, so we managed to get some uh, batteries. So the batteries actually got, I couldn't find them back at home, the local shopping center. So it was good they actually found them here. So these are actually for the um, for your Digimon virtual pets. So the CR2032 batteries. So I'm gonna put them into my Digimon X and Digimon 20th while we're out at the moment. Uh, we'll do it, do it in a second, actually. Uh, that way we can start playing with them while we're here. And I've got like 12 batteries. So we've got more than enough for all my virtual pets, which is good. We also got ourselves a packet of Digimon cards. I don't know if I've seen this one um, in Zing or EB Games over here, actually. Uh, Digimon Next Adventure. Um, I, again, I'm pretty new with the Digimon cards, so maybe it's older, maybe it's new. I don't know. I probably should look it up. I'm pretty sure it's newer, though, so we're going to open that in a minute as well. So we'll open this up now. We'll do the batteries a bit later in the video. All right, I couldn't really get a good angle for this um, with the tripod, so I'm just going to do this one-handed. It's going to be terrible. Um, but it's better this way than the other way. Oh, dropped a card. But I can also see something looking nice in the back there. So we'll, we'll get to that in a minute, guys. We'll get to that in a minute. Dino Memory Boost. Pokemon. Oh, man. That card looks cool, whatever it is. Oh, we're getting there. This is gonna add a lot of cards to my collection. I'm getting so many. Um, if you guys didn't know, I've also ordered a booster box, so we'll do something like that on the channel. If you guys have any suggestions of what I should do with it on the channel, let me know. If maybe we, you know, do something interesting or just open them all or open one per video or something. All right, ready? Here we go. All right, it's a rare, obviously, nice and shiny. But this one here, guys, ready? Let's see. Oh, nice. Secret rare as well. That's so good. That's my first packet of these ones as well. That looks so cool. Wow. I might look up on eBay and see what these are selling for, and I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. That is really cool. All right, I'm glad we got this packet of cards now. I'm going to keep that really safe until we get home. I'm going to put in a card protector. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew, but I think I mentioned it in another video. I'm going to look at getting some cards graded, so this might be one of the ones I go and get graded. All right, let's continue our adventure. Let's go. All right, so we've had some success, guys, with the uh, the first shopping center. So not only did we win the vending machine battle, which was really good. There were technically two there, but we only battled one for today, just so we can get around some more vending machines. But we won our first battle. We completed a mission by doing that battle, so we got a trophy, which is cool. Then I found the batteries I needed for my virtual pets, which is amazing because I haven't been able to find them lately, which is really weird. Like. Has the illness taken away batteries for some reason, specifically for virtual pets? No, so we found them, which is really good. We got like 12 of them, so we should be good for at least the next month, maybe. No, I'm kidding, we'll be good for a few months now. But the rate I'm buying them, probably not. We're probably gonna run out of batteries soon because I've got so many virtual pets. I, I don't know, guys, if um, I told you, I think I told you I pre-ordered two of the uh, version two Digimon Xs, uh, which are out, by the way, um, except for in Western Australia. I've actually got to wait. At the time of filming this video, 
uh, they're not in. Um, hopefully by the time this video is uploaded they're in and you've probably already seen another video from me saying that I've got them. Um, so ordered pre-ordered two uh, and then I ordered another one express post to me as well. So one of them, hopefully that gets here first, I don't know. So good enough batteries for all those which is cool, which is really good. Uh, then we got the packet of Digimon cards, which is good because we actually got a secret rare in there, which is, I think is actually my first secret rare I pulled from a packet of Digimon cards. Mind you, I've only got like probably about like 10 packets so far, uh, which is awesome. So we've had some wins for our first, our first shopping centre, uh, which I'm really happy with. So now we'll go to the next one and see, see what else happens there. See if we can have some more wins, see if we can beat this next vending machine. Or maybe it'll be insane, we'll get destroyed and we'll have a, a sad time. All right, let's go. Let's find this next shopping center. Digimon, digital monsters. All right, so I actually made a wrong turn because I decided, well, today I'm not gonna use a GPS. I do know roughly where I'm going anyway, so it's not like it's a big issue. Uh, I just wasn't paying attention and took the turn before the one I need to take. But um, I actually managed to find a shopping center on the way, which isn't the one I'm going to. So we're gonna to go to this one now because shopping centers have vending machines and we're gonna fight some more vending machines. Uh, I don't know which one it is right now, but I'll put it up on the screen. I'll, I'll bring it up on the map when I bring the map up. But yeah, how cool is that? So we've got another uh, another shopping center to fight here before we go into the one I was going for. All right guys, I'll bring you back once we get in there. So I'd found the best parking spot, like pretty much at the door. But um, the car on the other side of the car park had a tow ball and they've parked that hanging into the park, so there's no way my car would fit in there. So we couldn't take that one, but I found one just, I don't know, like 10 meters away, so that's pretty good still. So here we are, we're here. Let's go and let's find another vending machine. Kind of vending machine, so let's do it. All right, let's go. That refresh rate is so annoying. Good. All right, so that didn't go too well. So we actually lost that battle, which was kind of annoying, but it's only our second battle, so that's okay. Uh, I did work out where we are, we're actually in Riverton. So I've never been to the shopping center before, obviously, but if anyone's interested, that's the shopping center we're at. All right, so let's get back on track to the shopping center I was actually going to to begin with, and let's go battle some more vending machines. Hopefully in this next battle, we can actually win. All right, so we're actually going the right way this time, which is a big improvement on last time because the wrong way um, but we did find a shopping center which didn't end up really that good to be honest because we lost but um, it's only our second battle so this next one's gonna be good I feel like it's gonna be good uh, I might even try and find a couple of different vending machines that we can battle especially if we lose like if we lose I want to battle again otherwise it's like a massive drive to the next battle right uh, not for you guys but for me you guys will get a nice little transition bang we'll be there but uh, I've got to drive there so hopefully we get a win here. Uh, if not, we're definitely gonna find another one and battle that. Uh, but we'll just wait and see what happens when we get there. We are 50% success rate at the moment with our battles, which also means it's a 50% lose rate. So uh, glass half full, glass half empty. Is it even a glass? I don't know. Um, all right, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys when we get there.
All right, so here we are. So we're at our carousel. It's a shopping center in Cannington. So here we're gonna fight out a vending machine, maybe a couple more vending machines. We'll see how we go, see what we find here. If we win this first battle, then I'm gonna be pretty happy. Uh, if we lose, then we're gonna be fighting another one, that's for sure. Uh, there's a couple of other little things I wanna check out here, but nothing probably worth filming, to be honest. I really need to go to the toilet. So we're gonna do that while we're here as well. Uh, but now I think we should change the batteries in the virtual pets and get them ready to go. Uh, I don't know if we'll use them in this video, but let's change them now and get them ready. Oh, this is the best I could do with cameras, unfortunately, but we've got the two virtual pets, the 20th and the Digimon X version 1. We've got our batteries here, we've got another two packets. I if I can get them on the camera, sitting down there with all the seats that I don't need. All right, so let's get these batteries out. Let's quickly change these batteries. Wow. Well, we can't change them because they're in a packaging, in a packaging that needs scissors to open it. So, we're gonna change these when we get home, I think, and not worry about them now. Um, that's been unfortunate because I couldn't actually play with the devices while we're out, which sucks a bit, but that's okay. So let's put these away. Let's go battle the vending machine and take our anger out on that vending machine. On the Digimon that comes out of the vending machine. I'm not gonna fight the vending machine. All right, let's go. Sitting on the toilet all the live long day. Alright, so we couldn't find a vending machine for some reason, so we're fighting the parking meter. So let's see, it's Gabby one, so it should be easy. Yeah, straight up nailed in one shot, that's awesome. And he didn't land a hit, that's really good. Oh, I'm not gonna find another one because I literally couldn't find a vending machine. The food cost really big here, so maybe that's why. Um, so we took on a parking meter instead. All right guys, let's go to the next place. So, um. We won our battle, which is really good. Unfortunately, I just couldn't find a vending machine. There was paying machines for parking everywhere, which is really good. But for some reason, there wasn't vending machines anyway. Um, I imagine if I looked around harder, I'd probably find it, but it's a big shopping center, I don't really want to do that. There are a couple of different food courts and stuff, so maybe they don't worry about vending machines just because they've got the food courts there, I'm not sure. All right, it's time to get some lunch. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I think it's about time we go and get something to eat. Then after that, we'll have a bit of a look and see what else is nearby, and maybe go battle another vending machine or two. That's all, thank you. Thank you, I hate wearing masks, but I'm getting hungry. And then I think we've got time for one more vending machine before we head on home and wrap this video up. Can I have a seat? No, it's fine, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, thanks. Mask off. All right, we've got our food, so quick food break and then we'll get back into it. All right guys, so lunch is done. So now we're gonna move on to our final vending machine and then we're gonna head on home and wrap the video up. So let's get going and let's find this last vending machine. All right guys, here we are at Victoria Park Shopping Center. I haven't actually been here before from what I remember anyway. Uh, so we're going to find a vending machine. I'm going to assume there's vending machines here. There usually is, except for the last place we went for some reason. And we're going to take on a vending machine. This is going to be our last battle for the video, but don't don't go away after this battle. So we'll have a bit of a chat at the end and just talk about a few different things. All right, guys, let's go find a vending machine and let's kick its ass.
All right, guys, so we won that battle, which is amazing, uh, against Gavimon, which is pretty cool. Uh, this shopping center, though, didn't have a vending machine, which is kind of annoying, so I just took on a toy machine. Now, it's kind of funny, because I noticed that toy machine had an out-of-order sign, big out-of-order sign, stuck on it. Uh, and some guy and his kid decided they'd play it anyway, even though the out-of-order sign was, like, right in their face. Uh, it looked like there was, like, a Pikachu or something stuck in the, uh, the bit where you get your toys out of the vending machine. It, if that was Digimon, like, it wouldn't have happened, like, it would have been fine, so... Maybe they need to get like a Digimon toy machine there. So I'm thinking next time I'm gonna do a part two to this video where I'm gonna go above the city, above Perth, and try and battle some different shopping centers there. And maybe take, not just take on vending machines, maybe deliberately take on weirder types of machines, like games machines, and, and just random little machines like that that have NFC. We won all of our battles this time except for one, which is pretty good. But next time I wanna have a different Digimon. Make sure you guys subscribe because I'm gonna do a part two to this series, but I'm gonna raise up a different Digimon. So it might not come out for a week or two. But while you're waiting, I have plenty of other content that you guys can watch. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you guys haven't smashed the like button yet, because this video is clearly amazing, make sure you go down and smash the like button. Leave me a comment, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Digimon, digital monsters.